Deforestation and land degradation remains a worldwide problem posing serious obstacles to the reduction of poverty and hunger as well as maintaining biodiversity. The FAO's Forest Resources Assessment in 2015 put a decline of the forest area in Africa to 624 million hectares with a deforestation rate of 2.8 million hectares per year between 2010 and 2015. These posed enormous challenges to food systems of providing sufficient, affordable and nutritious food to a growing global population. Today, food systems face the challenges of providing sufficient, affordable and nutritious food to a growing population while dealing with preserving a depleted natural resource base and with the impacts of climate change on production and livelihood systems. The fourth AFR 100 annual partnership meeting focused on the empowerment of the youth to lead the way in reversing the worrying trend of degradation of the ecosystem. Young people have got nurseries, they're growing out of their, of, of their bags. But there's big budgets that are being set every day on TV. But on the ground, we're not, re we're not getting this fund. We need to be signing long-term contracts with young-owned businesses for restoration. And we put research in our indigenous native species that can be of economic benefit. These young entrepreneurs are raring to go and we're standing in the way. They are amazing forces of nature. And their aspirations and their will for AFR 100 and for the continent and for this movement are huge. Their ideas and their energy are exactly what we need to finish this race in the next decade. Minister of Environment, Science and Technology and Innovation, Professor Kwabuna Frimpong Boating, lamented the lack of expertise to manage Africa's natural resources. Africa is said to have a lot of natural resources, which is true. Natural resources have no natural owners. You may have the resources in your country, but if we don't have the technology, the skills and the money to exploit those resources, they are certainly not for you. I mean, there are resources that we have in Ghana, and we have access to only 10% of it. That's what, how much we gain from what they think is ours. And a lot of the degradation, deforestation, and so on, comes from the exploitation of these resources. The African Forest Landscape Restoration Initiative is a country-led effort to bring 100 million hectares of land in Africa into restoration by 2030. The restoration of degraded land for food production, for ensuring food security and nutrition in the region is really crucial. Forests are source of not only plants and the diversity. Currently, 28 African countries, including Ghana and Kenya, are partners to the Continental Initiative.